this biryani, bro? Oh, very tender, huh? And then I'm gonna wrap it like this. Oh, wow. Get a good chunk of gyro in there. In today's video, we're in Istanbul, Turkey. We're going to try some mouth-watering juicy kebabs. And to make things interesting, we're going to be trying kebabs at two different price points. One's cheap. What's the price? 65. And the other one, let's just say it's significantly more expensive. Also, it's owned by an extremely famous chef who is also a TikTok star with over 1.1 billion likes. Let's see if a TikTok restaurant can live up to its name. Welcome to Turkey. So guys, right now we are in the heart of Emininu. We saw this cool street side kebab place and we're going to be trying out the juicy pieces of meat. Oh my god, just look at those chickens just grilling and donor beef. Ooh, let's go try this out. I want to try donor kebabs. So I actually found this place beside my hotel. It's actually really good. Let's go check it out and let's see if they have some insanely tasty donor kebabs. These guys have a great sense of food. I really want to try this, this man. It's good. good. Very good. It's for you. For me? Yeah. <laughs> guys, they're making some Turkish pita for me. Oh, guys. Beautiful. Damn, what's your name? My name is Idris. It's the car. Nice to meet you. Damn, guys, this piece of bread, just check this out. This bread, it's topped with sesame. Beautiful. Let's give this a go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I love spicy food. Let's get some maza. This, oh, man, this is apparently really spicy. I don't know, I've been to Dubai, and in Dubai, spicy is not spicy for me. Let's see if this maza is spicy. Still not too spicy, right? But bro, this maza is really tasty. I think these are tomatoes, cilantro, and spices. Great cake, but I want to try the hummus. How is Turkish hummus? Let's give this a go. I got a good chunk of hummus in there. I'll put this in my mouth. It's different. You can feel the heavy essence of the chickpeas. It has a very fragment flavor all throughout. And one thing, it carries a lot of flavor. Oh my god. So guys, my guy gave me a lot of food. We have a lovely lamb. Oops, sorry, lamb kebab. These are chicken breast fillets. This is a lamb chop. And moreover, there is another kebab over here. Let me just break this out. It's so hot. Wait, let me break this one. This is the... Oh, I want to give you a bite of this lamb kebab. Oh my god. It is beautiful. So much intense flavors. I can't stop smiling. And when you suck on these kebabs, you can feel all the juices just pouring out. It is marvelous. Next thing I want to try is a gyro. I want to get some bread over here. And then I'm going to wrap it like this. Oh, wow. Get a good chunk of gyro in there. And then I'm going to get some maza. Oh, my God. Guys, let's put this baby in our mouth. Amazing. Guys, this is the lamb chop. Yum. This has a lot of flavors, I'm not gonna lie. I, Bangladesh, I hate lamb chops because it's never nice. But this lamb chop, when I bit into it, I wasn't struggling with the meat. You understand how tender this is. Guys, we had their lamb items, but I think it's time we try this baby. I'll get some rice. This rice has butter on top. It's extremely sweet. It has a pleasant taste. Let's get this baby. Turkey is a kebab heaven for me, bro. You name a kebab, these guys have it, and they do it pretty well. And guys, this baby, what is this? I do not know, but this is a lamb thingy. Let's, let's just go for it. What is this? This is a köfte. Köfte. Special köfte, special. It is amazing. This dude is amazing. Oh my god. This is amazing, they're kofta, but their koftas are shaped like this. What? 
We have chili flakes. I'm gonna put some on the kebab. I wanna get this bad boy it's spiced up. Right by. Is this the best place? Nah. You're telling me there are better places. Yep. No way. I do not believe it. Sorry. Like I think Turkey is kebab heaven. If you are dry and without kebabs, come here. They will serve you juicy kebabs. You fill up your mouth fully in with all their juices, man. They're just gonna exhale in you, bro. It's insane. So the price for the meat platter, the kebab platter, the breads, and everything you see over there, including a couple of Coke Zeros, the entire bill was 282 liras. What? So we just tried out the cheap street side kebabs and it was delicious. But guys, we're gonna be going to the expensive place. I'm really excited because let's just say I'm a big fan of Susan Burak. So let's go try his place out. restaurant this dude is actually like super famous if you know Salt Bay, you know this guy so we're gonna be trying out his restaurant is one of the most popular restaurants in Turkey and one of the most popular restaurants in the world so let's try this one out let's go so guys right now we have the mixed kebab this is seasoned Burak's mixed kebab we have a spicy kebab we have a pistachio kebab we have pizza bread chicken kebab and more kebabs oh my god this is a multiverse of kebabs bro I swear to god it is fresh and beautiful let's dig in I want to start off with the spicy kebab let's give this a go oh wow good but I need to try it with some bread guys and I'll take some pistachio kebab Oh wow, this looks amazing. Let's give this a go, guys. This kebab, it's a bit different. They're saying they make it with pistachio, but I get a slight hint of asparagus, but it tastes really good. But let's try these. I think these are keftas. I'm in the Bangal we call it koftas. Let's give this a go. This is good. It's a tad bit dry but it makes up for it for the insane marinations and the spice drops that's been inside. Oh, this is Turkish pizza bread. Looks marvelous. I think this is made with minced beef, a bit of marinara sauce. That one average, but guys, I wanna get the bread under this. It has all that marination. Now I'll take this. I'll take the spicy kebab over here. I'll put this here. Let's get a good chunk of this, okay? Let's put this bad boy in. And I'll make my own wrap, put it in my mouth. It is magnificent. Last but not the least, let's try the chicken. Oh wow, look at all the fibers inside. The chicken one is decent, not the best. I, I had better kebabs in my life. But let's wait for the other food. <coughs> is this mine? Yes. Ours? Wow. Whoa, guys. What's going on? This is pretty crazy. And this is like a... I think they're trying to set me on fire. Look, look, they're cutting it now. Is this biryani, bro? Uh, what is this? Nishle in rice. Oh, very tender, huh? Oh. 
Really tender, huh? Rice. But what about marination inside? No marination? No marination, just raw. But brother, this kebab. No. No? I had better, man. Just saying, expectation. Are you hurt? Why are you sad? Sorry? No, are you sad? Okay. Okay? Okay. Says so we have the biryani over here, but... They put nuts in the biryani, bro. What is this called? Firini da tugz tugz da kuzuku lamb arm roasted in salt in the oven. Yes. Yeah, you guys read it. So guys, this item furzada something something which kind of looks like biryani this costs 1120 liras it's close to 6000 taka it's almost a hundred dollars oh my god and let me just try it this is so bad this was bad but this is worse it's bland it has zero flavor when i mean zero i mean zero and moreover, this meat ain't even marinated. Honestly, at this point, I'm just disappointed. I'll say one thing: like, when you're serving food, and especially when someone who has such a big name, like Susan Burak himself, who has 34 million followers, he gives a restaurant, you expect the food to be top-notch. But it was not up to the standard. Like the kebabs, they lacked any form of juice inside. It was so dry. I drank three glasses of water already to put that in. And then when we had this item over here, it's just beyond bland. So this is my second day in Turkey, but I've already been to four to five other places. And the food in Turkey, it's insanely good. And this one's the worst I've had. When I'm spending $120 to eat kebabs, I expect good kebabs. I do not expect a dry kebab. I do not expect an unmarinated piece of meat. I don't expect trash. Let's just go to another place, man. I'm disappointed. If you're coming down to the final verdicts, then personally for me, the kebabs at Eminunu win. They're juicier, they're tastier, they are cheaper. And the one at Season Burak's restaurant, it was extremely overpriced. My taste palettes, they're broken because the food over there was... I don't want to say anything bad because this man's a king, but his food's just bad. Anyways guys, that's just my personal opinion. Don't hate on me. And this is Rafsan the Chorobai, bringing justice to you guys. Peace.